Hello guys, Crispy here, welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the GeForce GTX 1650 4GB GDDR5 in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2. This one is the Gigabyte Mini ITX OC model of the card. I am running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers as usual, and I'm not manually overclocking it. You can see all of its specs right here in TechPowerUp's GPU-Z. Again, it's the GDDR5 version. The GDDR6 will be around 10% faster. And over on the left, we're pairing it with a Ryzen 7 5700G and 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM in dual channel. Let's get into it, shall we? Let's go over the settings first. I'm starting at 1080p resolution using DirectX 12 and the Epic Settings preset, which with the X12 means that Nanite is also enabled and Lumen as well. And this is basically real time ray tracing. So it's very, very intensive. This is just for curiosity's sake. I don't expect it to be playable. I'm also going to test Epic without Nanite, High without Nanite, Medium, Low, Competitive settings, which is like performance mode. And then we're going to try some 4K at the end of it as well <laughs> so stay tuned oh boy oh my god okay cpu usage is actually at 100 percent at the moment uh, ray tracing is also very cpu intensive but i think it's just because we just started this is the first game of the day you know and well on top of that we're using extremely high settings of course <laughs> wow i did not expect to see 100 percent cpu usage but the gpu is also maxed out so it's still not a cpu bottleneck now uh um, <laughs> look at this, guys. It looks absolutely phenomenal, of course, like to be expected. It's ray traced settings, max settings, basically, in this particular title. But as expected, the GTX 1650 doesn't really have what it takes uh, to run this game properly with the Lumen stuff and Nanite stuff enabled, unfortunately. So uh, <laughs> this is what we get. A good... 15 FPS with some stuttering and 3 FPS 1% lows. Also, the 100% CPU utilization was definitely... What is this guy doing? Can we kill... Can we kill a guy with... <coughs> With 15 FPS. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. It's still playable, my friends. No, it's not. <laughs> but as I was saying, you can expect high CPU utilization when you're dropping from the sky, basically, and for the first, like, 10 seconds of gameplay down here, I guess. And then it stabilizes, and now it's barely using our CPU. But, yeah, I think we should definitely stop it right there. I am done with this slideshow. <laughs> and I will now try it without the Nanite stuff enabled, which also deserves disables the lumen stuff on global illumination and reflections so no more ray tracing and i will stick to no nanite for the rest of the video okay we're also gonna try high settings but with no nanite medium low competitive with performance mode let's do this now i'm gonna restart to make sure that everything applies and we're dropping look at that guys now we're getting 30 plus fps it's not stuttering like crazy anymore and also i have installed the streamed assets from the game games uh, launcher options or whatever the crap that is let's uh, probably get out of here yeah that's a good idea oh my god okay so now it's it's like a thousand times more playable than it was before what the what is that is that a guy jesus christ what the heck what are you doing to me boy Come on! There we go, we got him, we got him, and we got access to the wings as well. What the hell do, do these do? Uh, wait, 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 I, I need I need shields, I need shields. Let's drink them up, okay? People are fighting each other over there in that direction. I'm fine, and let's see what, what we can do with this. Oh boy, look at that! Oh, we can fly around and get 20s! Perfect! <laughs> I do not like 20s, guys, but this is really fun, actually. I like it. Gonna eat this up. <clears throat> oh boy! No! Oh, what the hell? Okay, so this is something that I noticed happening on these higher settings presets in the previous season as well. So it's still here, guys. It hasn't been fixed, unfortunately. It's not like Epic cares. Those slowdowns happen even with higher end GPUs. So it's definitely the game's fault. Uh, anyway, th that's probably it, right, for the epic settings here. Now, I just want to find a little bush. There we go. There's a bush right here. And inside of bushes, it doesn't seem to drop too much. We dropped, like, what, 4 FPS? That's good to see. At least those have been optimized. Usually bushes are super, super intensive. And uh, people are fighting each other. There's one guy over there. Can I actually do this? Wait a second. Wait a second. Can we we fight that one? Wait, 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 wait. Go, 
Come on. Okay, okay. You know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna shoot him. There it is. Come on. Good stuff. And the other one is there. Come on. Oi. Oi. No, not from behind. Not from... You know what? You know what? Yep. Let's just get out of here. No! Oh, damn it. Well, that's exactly what I wanted anyways, because this experience, although it's playable, it's definitely not something that I would utilize. I would definitely choose to drop the settings. And dropping the settings is what I just did. So we're still at 1080p resolution, DirectX 12, but I set it to the high settings preset, increased the 3D resolution to 100% because the default is 87% and it just looks bad. Uh, and over here, I disabled the Nanite and the Lumen stuff as well, because we don't want that <laughs> we'd probably get like 20 fps and here we go my friends we are dropping in the same place or same general area at least and uh, it's getting 40 something fps right here which is not bad whatsoever but it's still not something that i would utilize with this uh, gpu you know like high settings is still a little bit too much for it i'm gonna start counting our fps as well all right getting down into the 30s this time around instead of getting down into like the 20s sometimes which is definitely a lot better than what we saw previously still no 60 fps and i would again definitely aim for 60 fps plus all of the time if you can and the 1650 definitely can do that so hello <laughs> hey how are you going hey how's it going oh, hey, hey, hey. come on come on come on no no, no, no. Wait, wait. Well, let's reload. Okay, it's, it's all good. She's just running away. Whoa, 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 whoa. She can also do that? Seriously? Also, this reminds me of the Weeping Woods. You know, the atmosphere. Of course, there's way more green right here with the fog, the big trees around here. This is cool, guys. All right. And it's probably an intensive area because of all of the vegetation. But I guess uh, now the vegetation is not really as intensive as it used to be. Uh-oh, 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 okay, 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 let's go with this, all right, come on, oh boy, all right, all right, almost dead, he's almost dead, ah, there we go, there we go, there we go, right now it's pretty smooth, obviously it's not the smoothest thing in the world because we're not getting 60 plus fps but it can actually reach 60 fps at times um and it doesn't really stutter which is nice to see at least they didn't break this new uh, season with more stuttering issues like they usually do sometimes they have a season that runs very well and the next one will be completely broken this is not the case. It seems like this season is also running pretty dang well. And look at this. Getting 60 FPS right here with the 1650 on high settings. Pretty good stuff. Now, what I'm gonna do here is set it to TSR low and quality right here which renders the game at 66 percent uh, resolution scale. So it's kind of like an FSR quality and on low, it actually does provide us quite a bit of a boost of in performance, you know? As you can see, we're now getting 70s, even 80 FPS, and we're still at high settings. Inside of the bush, it only drops to 68 or 69. Nice. And, uh, I mean, it's now very playable. I wouldn't really utilize, like, TSR Epic or TSR High, something like that, because TSR Low still looks decent. It's definitely a lot softer than native resolution was with TAA. Um, but on a smaller monitor, 1080p, like, 24-inch monitor, it should still look all right. And, of course, you get the added benefits of playing with those high settings above 60 FPS. Taking the wings, looking at the map from above, it's still not enough to get 60 plus FPS all over the time as you can see but it is very close guys it's close enough to where i'd say that this is a pretty enjoyable experience now it again it looks a little bit softer but i don't really care much about that i, I feel like uh, you guys, if you haven't tried high settings with, with TSR low on quality, I highly recommend you to do that and enjoy the great visuals that high settings have to offer with good smoothness. And around here, apparently, it also drops quite a bit for some reason. Interesting. Uh, again, maybe it's just a forest area with all of this vegetation. They also added a lot more different types of grass, I guess. Maybe this was present in like the dinosaur update a while ago. Uh, but yeah, now we got it right here and it might be a little bit more intensive. Hello there, kind sir. I missed some people. Okay, okay. There we go. I will kill you now. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> what the hell? That was probably a bot, right? That was way too easy. <gasps> there's a guy. There's a guy. There's a guy. We just found him. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on, come on, come on. We can do this, right? Yeah, I believe, my friends. I do believe. There we go. <laughs> Good job. And now there are only four people remaining, guys. We need to see if we can spot them. Oh, I see one of them. I saw one of them right there. Oh, yeah, there's another one there. Uh, maybe that's the one that I spotted. I'm not sure. Wait. Come on. Hey, <laughs> whoa, 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 what the fuck, what? And now I just restarted the game to apply the medium settings preset with 3D resolution set to 100%, but everything else is set to the preset, of course, with TAA. You know what, guys? Let's see the rebels roost right now, because that seems to be a quite dense forest with a lot of fog effects and stuff like that. It might actually be more intensive than over there. And also, while dropping, we're getting 70 fps plus or 69 plus even better so i guess if you want that native resolution experience oh we've been here already okay <laughs> i'm gonna start counting our fps um if you want that native resolution experience with 60 plus fps all of the time i think this will be it medium settings does provide that but unfortunately during daytime that's where you're gonna see the differences from high to medium because the shadow render distance in this game on medium settings is quite poor you know but hey that's what you need to sacrifice to get that boost in fps basically everything else looks super similar still maybe the lighting looks a little bit worse you know but hey we can only take a look at that during daytime again let's drink the shields yep people are right there shooting at each other actually they're probably shooting at bots oh boy i am scared i am very scared I should also grab some more things. Yep, the pistol will do. I'm hearing the shots again, guys. Maybe downstairs. Again. Yep, no, there he is. Oh my god, the recoil on this thing is insane. Whoa. I moved my mouse all the way through my mouse pad <laughs> to recoil control that thing. Damn. That shadow render distance is a bit of an issue here on medium settings. It's always been like this. You can see it clearly rendering in as you walk or as you run and it just looks a little bit ugly honestly but again you just gotta compromise sometimes with a gtx 1650 these days and if that's what it takes for us to get 60 plus fps all of the time at native 1080p resolution i will take it okay Th this still doesn't look terrible oh hello jack how are you going <laughs> oh, 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 oh medium settings works very very well no well, just in time for us to test low anyways. <laughs> And here we have it, 1080p DX12 using TAA, native resolution, and the lowest settings. Also, if you don't like the look of TAA, which doesn't look terrible in this game, given its art style, uh, you can always disable it. You'll get like one or two more FPS. It doesn't really matter. All right, we got some shields in the gun already. Some people dropped here with us as well, so we need to be a little bit careful. Oh, there's one of them bastards already with the wings. Um, and I only have 45 bullets here. He already saw us, I think. Okay, wait a second. Got another gun. Good. And hello. Come on. Okay, come over here, boy. <laughs> I kind of want to kill you and get those wings. Yes. Yes, thank you. Wait, where, where, where did you go? Come on. Hello, buddy. Buddy. No, oh, there's another one, I think, behind us. I got him. And yep. Come on. Come on, almost. Nice, we got the double. Oh boy, the FPS are actually kind of sick at the moment. Look at that, 130 frames per second. Not major stuttering issues. I've felt like a couple already, but minor ones. It's not like huge stuttering issues like this game used to have. So again, that's a very, very good thing to see. Wait, what is this? What is this? Holy crap. Challenged servers. Wait, there was also a little line flashing on the screen. Interesting. Let's challenge the bastard. Oh, okay. So that server is there. Uh, well, that's quite easy, actually. <laughs> what? Come on. Oh, there's the other guy over there. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Come stop, stop moving around like that, you. Okay. 
Oh, whoa, 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 there's more, there's more of them. Yes. Okay, okay, reload, 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 please reload, reload. Yes, there we go. All good, all good. The music is also uh, so atmospheric, I like it. Uh. Got him, good, 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 good. Kill the Cerberus things, kill the Cerberus things, there it is. Can we get this? Oh, now this is the Cerberus. Doesn't look like a Cerberus at all, actually. Cerberuses usually have uh, three heads. You know, that's, that's how it's supposed to be. At least from Hades. Hades got it right. Let's go. Hades is a very good game, by the way. If you haven't tried it and you like roguelikes, it's, it's very good. It's very, very good. Oh, come on. All right, please don't heal yourself again, or the shields, you know. You can finish the freaking reload. Wait, there's somebody else shooting at us. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do this, yes? Oh my god, this is hard. That's what she said. Let's go. Let's go. Stop, Cerberus. Stop shooting at me. I need to kill these bastards so we can continue our fight. No. Oh boy. Come on, finish the freaking reload already. How long does it take? Jesus. Up. Let's go! Come on! Nice, I got him with the last bullet! Ooh, that was sick! I'm hearing steps. Yeah, there's a guy. Come on, Cerberus's weapon! Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Wow. Oh, whoa, 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 You know what? I also have that, boy. <laughs> what the heck do you want? Huh? Oh, come over here. Now I have the high ground. Why did you go there? You're stupid. <laughs> what the heck? Come on. I'm gonna go there with the wings, guys. All right. Get ready. And go. Yes. Go. Go. Where is he? Where is he? Did we swap places again? <laughs> Wait. No, he's there. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell is that? What are you doing? No. Damn it! Very good performance. You know, I'm very, I'm super glad that they didn't break the game completely in this new season. It's still super solid. All right, guys, just restarted the game. We're back here at 1080p, but this time using performance mode, which a lot of competitive people like to utilize. Uh, so I'm using it with these settings. I guess we should like use far view distance as well as high textures because we can you know and will you look at that now inside of the buzz we're getting 200 ish fps yep th that's kind of insane and not all of the people with the gtx 1650 will get these kinds of high fps because you actually need quite a beefy cpu to run performance mode with super high frames per second because it's so easy on the gpu that it just becomes cpu bound very often good to see that sometimes gpu utilization is now reaching 98 percent so maxed out gpu usage that's neat because previously it wouldn't every time you would use performance mode it just uh, kept itself to like 90 percent gpu utilization with a, a high ish end gpu well high-ish end for performance mode which is like gtx 1050 ti oh boy no 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 oh my god okay i got him i got him oh my goodness that was that was actually pretty good <laughs> also guys i usually avoid performance mode because look at those one percent lows it is uh, a far more high refresh rate experience than DirectX 12 was. Obviously, we're getting like double the FPS on average and sometimes even more... <laughs> Like over a year, 250 FPS, that's crazy, 270. But the thing is, with stuttering, I prefer the smooth 120 FPS, stable 100 plus FPS all of the time with the X12, than the 200 plus FPS all of the time almost. But with those little spikes that you see in the frame time graph every now and again, those indicate stuttering issues. And uh, yeah, if you play on performance mode, you're just gonna have them and deal with them. So just enjoy the X12 with no stuttering issues and be happy with that experience because 250 FPS on average sounds very good, but with 64 1% lows, it is definitely not.
Okay, so I'm gonna stop it there. And uh, lastly, as I told you, I'm gonna use 4K resolution just out of curiosity once again. You know, since it actually performs so good at 1080p, it might actually be possible to play at 4K resolution with the 1650. And indeed, it kind of is. As you can see, it's getting 70s and 60s at times. It's way sharper right now because I am using a 4K monitor for this. But unfortunately, I think it will drop, guys. And we still have those insane stutters. As you can see, yeah, into the 50s some times it's not the end of the world again i actually really enjoyed the experience on high settings with tsr low um, on quality it delivered pretty nice visuals and some drops into the 50s at times as you saw in this video i believe unless you skipped the 4k part but well, now you know. <laughs> and although in terms of averages, it might actually be a similar experience at 4K performance mode with the 1650, with those frame time spikes all over the place, it's just not as smooth and not as playable as it was on high. I'm not saying it's unplayable here with performance mode, I'm just saying that it's unstable, okay? That's it. I'm going to try to get this guy, but I only have five bullets on my shotgun thingy. We need to get very close to him. Hello? Can you hear me? There we go. Okay, no, it's it's probably just a bot from the way he just turned there. Yeah, come on. Come on. Hello. There we go. Yes, keep shooting the, the hill there. <laughs> All right, I got him. I got him. See, I can still do stuff. It's just... In inconsistent stuff <laughs> and i guess with that that's been it for this video guys thank you very much for watching it i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was informative let me know what kind of settings and resolutions you would play this game on if you're gonna play fortnite chapter 5 season 2 with the 1650 and uh yeah see you guys in the next one love you all Bye bye